Hi, thanks for joining us. Um, this is Tim from All Things Trail Running. And today we are going to do a little review of the Salmon Cincy 12 pack. So. questions about running packs and running bests and um, all I can just talk about is from my own personal experience and I ran in several I ran in Nathan I ran in some other brands um, this is the brand that I keep coming back to however um, and they call it a vest it's hydration vest um, and this is last year's model um, and I have gone through I think I'm on the third generation of this particular vest hydration pack and um, absolutely love it. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the features in it, um, why I like it so much, and um, even some of the things that I maybe don't like as much about it. But um, anyway, kind of starting off with um, just the amount of stuff that this vest can hold. Um, it is insanely roomy. There are pockets in the back, there are pockets up top um, to hold bladders and some other jackets and things like that. Um, there's plenty of zippers um, and probably one of my favorite features of this particular model is this nice little bag that you can put your gels in so you know you get that gooey gel stuff if you're a gel person um, after you take a gel and you're like what do I do with this thing well they thought about it and they have this little like nice little thing that you can just throw your junk in and uh, so it doesn't get goo all over the rest of your pack so um, some of the really neat things about it, so the, the vest comes with, when you buy it, it comes with two of these bottles. So these are 16 ounce um, soft flasks and um, they're great and they ride really nice just right here on your chest. Um, it doesn't come with a bladder. So if you want a bladder, if you're the type of person that wants to run with um, some extra water on you, you've got to go out and buy an additional bladder for like 50 bucks. So that kind of sucks, especially when you've dropped $160 on a vest from your local running store. You got to go out and buy an additional hydration bladder if you want it. So um, that's kind of a downer for me, I think, in terms of um, what they could have done. But you know, hey, it is what it is. Some people don't like these smaller bladders. They want to get their own. So um, anyway, the and then if you route it in here, you just put the bladder in the back here and you can just run a hose right through the vest itself and into the back and it connects right underneath. So one really kind of cool thing and upgrade that they made this year that they didn't have last year. Last year, when you ran a hose, it would just go down along the outside of the vest and into the connection point. Um, this year they really thought about it and they don't want it to freeze and so they um, put the hose actually into a pocket so it keeps it nice and warm. Um, when you're running in the cold in Colorado like I do all the time, um, sometimes you can have a problem with your hose freezing up on you. So they really thought that thing through. Um, now it's all internally routed into the vest which is super cool. I like the feature a lot. Um, the other upgrade that they made this year that I really, really like is the fact that they have this really nice water barrier in the back. So when you ride with your bladder um, back here in this other pocket, sometimes condensation and those sort of things can make their way into the zipper compartment, which is kind of a bummer if you're running, like sometimes I'll pack this thing up and I'll have a down vest and some other stuff in there that I don't want to get wet. Well, they thought that thing through. Um, the downside to that is that um, it can get kind of hot in the summer months. So I don't think it breathes as well as previous models, but the trade-off is that your stuff is going to stay dry. I have had this thing fully loaded. So you figure I've got um, a liter and a half in the back. I've got two liters up front. So I have two and a half liters of water total on me um, and then tons of nutrition. I have ran this vest in multiple hundred mile runs and um, I have never ran out of room in this vest and it still rides like a vest. And so just to kind of demonstrate a little bit about how this thing attaches, it goes on really nice and easy. They have these really nice little rip cords that you can just snap right on and you're done. 
And as the pack unloads, like throughout your day, as you're eating more nutrition and stuff, you can just pull on this little strap here, tightens it up nice and snug around your, around your chest. So um, I really like this thing for a ton of reasons. Um, another thing I wanted to kind of point out too, is that there are multiple places to put your trekking poles if you're a trekking pole person. So um, they have some attachments up here that you can zip around and just throw into um, these little attachments here on the bottom. You can also run your poles through the front and attach them down here at the bottom. Um, and what I do instead is, you know, they thought about it all and they're trying to sell extra stuff, I guess, but they have this amazing thing called a quiver. Now the quiver attaches really, really nicely to this vest. There's attachment points up top, there's attachment points in the bottom, and with the quiver, your poles just go right in there, just like um, right on your back. So you can just throw them back there. You can pull them out when you're in a race, put them back. Um, I found this to be probably one of the most useful things, especially if you got a hilly race, a long race, um, whatnot. Um, I'd go out and buy one of these. They're amazing. So. Um, Anyway, what else about this thing? It's got a, it comes with a whistle. Um, it's got a little pocket up here where you can put your sunglasses, just kind of fold those things up and put them in there. Um, also has a protected key pouch uh, here in the back where you can put your keys on a hook. So you're not gonna lose those. Um, and like I said, multiple zipper pockets um, holds just about anything you could ever want. Um, so, that's it, I kind of ran through it pretty quick. Uh, feel free to email questions or post in the comments if you have anything particular that you wanna know about. Um, like I said, I still have, uh, I think this is last year's or two years ago, I still carry this vest and I still rock this thing too. It's got a little bit different feature load on it, um, but I'm a huge fan of this new one. I think they did a really good job and got it right this time. So mine is getting kind of sweaty in, in the heat. Um, this thing should do you right. So um, post in the comments, like I said, if you have questions, um, we're just here to help. We're all just, you know, trail runners around Colorado. Um, some run long, some run short, but um, we're just here to kind of spread the news about different products and different things that have been working for us. So hopefully um, you don't have to go out and do all that research on your own. So anyway, uh, this is Tim from All Things Trail Running. Thanks for tuning in.